The following would be an explanation of the hydraulic fan drive system on my Bluebird All-American. This is the side of the motor and this is the air compressor. Bolted behind that is the power steering pump. It makes pressure for the hydraulic fan drive system and the power steering system. Built in is a priority divider valve that distributes the pressure between the two. That power steering pressure comes over here and goes to the hydraulic fan drive. And from there, it pushes the pump, spins the fan, and exits out the back and goes back to the power steering reservoir over here. And then it goes back to the pump. But there's more to it. Fan speed varies, though. It varies from engine RPM and also by the amount of oil that bypasses the fan drive itself, which is controlled by this pilot circuit, which is these three hoses over here. This pilot hydraulic circuit consists of the charge air override solenoid and the thermal valve. Pressurized oil flows through the system and goes through the valves and back to the pump. If there is a restriction in this system, it will cause all of the oil that comes through to the pump to go through it, which will spin the fan faster. If there is very little restriction, the fan will still spin. However, most of the oil will be diverted around the pump rather than through it. The back of the pump also has a built-in pressure relief valve, so the pilot circuit doesn't overpressurize when one of the valves close. The charge air override solenoid is controlled by the charge air override sensor. What this sensor does is test the incoming charge air, and if the temperature exceeds 150 degrees, it will open the circuit, which will cause a restriction in the pilot circuit, causing the fan to run faster to cool the air in the intercooler. Cooler intake air is essential because cooler air is more dense and has more oxygen in it. Also, it's for emissions because cooler air will help keep the combustion temperature lower, which helps keep nitrates of oxygen at a lower level in exhaust gas. The pilot circuit is the thermal valve. It tests the temperature of the coolant coming out of the engine. Unlike the charge air override solenoid, the thermal valve varies the amount of restriction, with minimal restriction up to 185 degrees and max restriction at 200 degrees. The third line in the back of the pump works as a vent line, preventing excessive pressure buildup in low pressure areas of the pump, like behind the shaft seal. So why don't we want this fan running max all the time? Well first, it's going to cause this pump to wear out a lot faster because it'll be working at maximum capacity. Another thing is that it might cause this hydraulic system to overheat because, again, it's pushing a lot of pressure through there and a lot of restriction. Another thing is that this fan, when it's running at max, it draws a lot of power from the engine. So if you have 78 fat kids that you're hauling and you're going up a hill, you might need that extra power. Another part of this cooling system is this hydraulic cooler. It has an electric fan that runs on it, and if the power steering fluid gets too hot, this fan will activate. The sensor for that fan is located at the bottom of the reservoir. I'm going to go ahead and test the charge air override solenoid by unplugging the sensor for it. Now if you can't see the fan spinning, you should be able to hear it spin faster too.